there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Viewer discretion is advised. Bad boys, what you want? Turn her on. Get on the ground. I don't understand why I'm being arrested right now. Bad boys, bad boys. I want you gonna do. Calm down. Calm. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've worked for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office for a little over three years now. I retired from the U.S. Army. Uh, I was looking for some way to, to serve uh, and enjoy the camaraderie and discipline and standards that I knew in the military. And the uh, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office was the perfect fit to do that. So I'm enjoying it every day. All right, we're en route to serve a warrant. A uh, young lady had a court date that she missed, uh, so we're gonna go to her apartment and see if she's there to pick her up, take her to jail. Where are we going to, over there? Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna walk around this way in case she comes up. And this is Courtney? Courtney. Failure to appear at court on Monday, is that right? Yeah. we're going over there. Sheriff's office. What do you want? I'm here to see Courtney. Is she here? I'm not here, sir. Okay, can you open the door so I can talk to you? My dog is in the tub, and it's a shower tub. Okay, can you close the door to the bathroom? She'll get out, sir. Okay, well, I need to see if Courtney's in there. I need... She's not here. Oh. She has my car. She's in my there. My car is not here. Okay. Okay. Walking. Get out there. Okay, we know she's in there or that you're her, so you need to open the door. I'm not her, I'm her mother. Okay, then open the door, please. What do you want her for? Because uh, she has a warrant for her arrest, so we need to come in and make sure she's not there. She's not here. Hey, ma'am, can I meet your dog? I think she said she needed a towel. Oh, gosh, I want to see that. No, no, I think it's, she's talking about a towel for the dog, but she's stalling it. Hi, ma'am. Hi. All right, can we come in real quick? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Wait, wait, oh, I, got, I got it. I got it. I got I it. Know, but hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. You just need to No problem. No problem. So Courtney's not here? No, sir. She has my car. What tent you buy? So can we just search and make sure she's not here, and then we'll get out of your hair? Okay. Why do you want to search me? Because she has a warrant. And what we want the warrant for? Because she was supposed to be in court. She did go to court, I saw. No, she didn't. And that's what we want to check. Do you mind if we just we just want to walk through, make sure she's oh, not yeah, here? Oh, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> that's okay. It's a mess. Thank you. And she took your car. You know where she went? No. Who's that? I'm coming. It's another deputy. Okay. Do you know where she went? No, she didn't say. Probably with a friend. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ow, ow, don't leave me here. Don't hide in the ow. closet. Hide in the closet and expect us Mom, to do. Mom, we want you. Get back. Get I didn't do anything there. wrong. What are you no. doing this to me for? Because you have a warrant for your arrest. Why? You, you didn't go to court I on Monday. I showed up there. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Use your feet. Stand up. We're not going to lift you. Mom, we brought me out. Do you have any weapons on you? No, nothing. I have nothing on me. Remember when I went through this last time? Yeah, I have nothing on me. Okay. Mom, will you call her right now? Can I make sleep her? No. I wear these glasses, this is so bad. Can I have Will you call jewelry? Pat, Mom? Will you call yes. Pat right now? We'll take now? all her jewelry off. The phone's oh, where it was in the closet. We'll take it off and we'll bring it back. Mom, the phone was where it was in the closet. Please go call Pat right now and tell me what she says. Please. I will. Please, before okay. I leave. Please, before Courtney, I leave. I will. Just call me when you get there. Mom, please call her before I leave. This is so. We'll be right back with your jewelry, ma'am. Thank you. I didn't get noticed. They have my address set then for. Why did you hide from? They them? have my. I, I thought I didn't know I was hiding because my ex-boyfriend's been stalking me. And you thought the cops were your ex-boyfriend? No, I didn't know it was the cops. We've been standing outside for about five or ten minutes. 
and your mom's been talking to you the whole time. We announced mm -hmm. ourselves. I rushed down the courthouse as fast as possible. I ran up to the courtroom, and nobody was in there. What day was this? The day of the court date. I looked for the judge, everybody. So, I mean, how was I to know? I didn't even know. And I rushed down there the minute I had it. I, I heard when I called my bondsman that morning to check in. Court, Courtney, Why I have a hard time believing any of this. this I don't have a, I, I, because I thought you were my ex-boyfriend, Anthony. No. There's no, charges you, you can We look. were standing about five feet from you, and your mom was stalling the whole time, and we told her exactly who we were when we knocked on the door. I didn't and she hear kept that. saying, she's not here, she's not here. There's no way you didn't hear it. I honestly didn't. She so you was just with a dog. So you normally just sit hiding in a closet? From my ex, yes. He stabbed me before. There's he beat me up. I've had to drop charges on him a bunch of times. It's all recorded in Pinellas County. Remember I was out here Sunday morning? Yes. And you told me about your court date on Monday, right? Oh. You no, knew didn't. You knew that you had court. She had court. She had a court date. No, you did it. Because no, we talked court. about from the time that you were arrested at the La Quinta. She had court. It was her court date we were going to. And no, your yeah. mom was arrested for her warrant on Sunday morning. Yeah, and she had it's her and that had the court date. You, no, you were talking to uh, me her about court date your was Monday the 11th the, at 8.30. You were talking with me about your arrest with all the drugs. You said that you had arraignment on Monday morning. I said morning. I have arraignment coming up, but I didn't know no, it was Monday. you said on Monday morning. Okay. So I you, left at 9, at exactly like 9.15. Someone hit the front of the car. The bumper was hanging. I had to tape it up. I got down there. The, Parking machines point. don't take dollars, so I had to beg people for change for a dollar. I run up to the courtroom, they're not there. Okay. I don't know what happened Monday, but I remember talking to you Sunday morning. I was and down you told there at the courthouse. So I did not, the only reason I did that not I had say it, Monday. That my I mom had court Monday. I had a case, case, soon. And I saw that the warrant was out on it. I was there and everything. This is like so not right okay, because well, I was can, there. Listen, Courtney. Check okay. the cameras. Check. You, I spoke listen, with so many if you people. Were there, then you're going to get a chance to tell the judge that. Courtney, we're done. Take your shoes off. So Courtney was arrested previously for possession of cocaine, crystal methamphetamine, and several other controlled substances. Courtney didn't go to court, so tonight she's headed to jail. Mom, thanks. Please. Mommy loves you. Thank you. I love you. Just try and behave. One thing I enjoy working at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is the graveyard shift. I take pride in taking guns off the street as well as narcotics. It gives me a sense of giving back to my community. So right now, we're following this vehicle here. We're going to do a traffic stop on it. They don't have a tag light on it, and he kind of rolled to the stop sign here, so we're going to make contact with him. 5334 250. 5334, good. It's going to be a green color Buick, occupied two times. 10 4 You doing, man? The reason why I'm stopping you is you don't have a tag light on there. I can't see your tag plate. Your tent's a little dark, too. I mean, you came through that stop sign back there, you kind of rolled it a little bit. Where are y'all headed to? Walmart. You headed home? OK. Walmart. Do you still live at this address here? I said Walmart. Do you still live at Toby Drive? Yeah. OK. All right, give me one minute, and I'll be back with you, OK? Stopped him for uh, rolling a stop sign and no tag light. And also, you can smell marijuana coming out of the vehicle. So we'll get them out one by one. We'll set them out front, and then we'll do a vehicle search and go from there. OK? Can you step out for a minute? No weapons on you, bud? No, All sir. right, I'm going to pat you down, OK? Yeah. Put your hands on your head. Interlock your fingers. Stay like that. No weapons on you? No. OK. I'll explain them to you in one minute, OK? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to walk around this vehicle, and we're going to walk to the front of the vehicle, OK? Ma'am, you want to step out? OK, go ahead and turn around. I'm going to just hang you for now. Why? Turn around, and we'll explain it to you in one minute. Just relax. I'll explain it to you in one minute. Do you have any objection to me searching the vehicle? That's my house. OK. And when I smell burnt marijuana coming out of the vehicle, and I'll explain to you That's why. That's a lie. That's a okay. lie. We don't smoke marijuana. Lie. OK. A lie. We do not smoke marijuana. So you don't use narcotics that whatsoever? That is a lie. Okay. No. OK. Well, I'll that let you know I do. You want to stay by with him? That is a lie. That is not true. He's lying. That is a lie. So when I walked up, they had just smoked. They were just smoking. This is like meth residue Look on the inside. Yeah. So we got some uh, medication in different person's name. It looks like it's melted down. There's marijuana sheet right there on the back, too. The glove box is locked. There's something in that. What is it? That looks like it could be a, yeah. a white powdery substance. Powder form? It's consistent with either methamphetamine or cocaine or any other narcotic. It's got to be like potpourri or something, like a residue. Let's just detain her for now, then we'll, we'll get it tested all out. You want to come over here and turn around? What's that substance that was located in a couple things? Are you talking about in a napkin? Yeah. That's lotion. 
solution into green form? It's in the green. It's a green form of it. So we're going to test all of that. I'm just giving you the option to, to be honest with me before, because we're going to figure out what it is. We're going to test everything. Because like I said, listen, your cooperation is everything. <clears throat> and I'm not judging you, but you have track marks all over your arm as well. And your pupils right now are ginormous. I'm not I... judging you right now. I'm just letting you know that there's we've definitely found residue of methamphetamine inside the container. There's marijuana shake in the vehicle, OK? And there's other stuff indicative of narcotics in the vehicle. And we'll show you okay. all that. OK, well... OK, so we're going to test everything. I just want to get the opportunity to ask you if you know what it is before we test it all. OK. Because it's the one chance I give. Because after that, I charge you and you get booked. No, I don't know what it is. Um, I put it and I saved it because I thought he was doing something behind my back. Who? So, him. So you saved just, it for what? Because I wanted to figure out what it was. He's always doing stuff behind my back. All right, this deputy here is going to conduct the full search of you, okay? So okay. I'm, I'm giving you the opportunity to be honest, okay? I don't have anything. Okay. You want to put her over here, face this way, do a full search? All right, so Adam, the glove box was locked. I'm going to give you one chance to be honest with me, because once we get in there, I'm going to open the box. Regardless of what, I'm opening the box. I can tell right now you're worried about something. No, I'm not. And I want sir. you to be honest no, about not. it. No, I'm not. It's okay. just like you smoked marijuana. I didn't, sir, there was no smoking in that car. OK. I don't well, smoke weed. There is marijuana. We located marijuana shake inside the vehicle, as well as methamphetamine. Is there a spare key in the car? Sir, I don't have it. When did you lock it? Um, when I, when I Better yet, why? Why did you lock it? Why do you lock your glove box? If you're living I in the car, OCD. shouldn't you have? I got OCD. And what's that about? What's the OCD part? That you don't like stuff open? Because listen, based on your demeanor, you're lying. Uh, I, I'm just, I don't know. This is. Okay. Found a key. Give me a minute, okay? Deputy Davis located a spare key for the passenger compartment. Digital scale. It's got his name on it. You want to pull that out? It's a digital scale. bags in there, too. He's got baggies. Yep, there's all your dope. Yep. So we located a spare key, basically opened it up, and this is what we have. Uh, you got a black digital scale for weighing up the marijuana. This is the methamphetamine. It's going to have good little crystals in there. Uh, meth pipe for ingesting the methamphetamine. Some prescription pills as well. And we'll see from there. All right, so Adam, the lock box was open, and there's a bag of methamphetamine, pills, and drug paraphernalia. What did I tell you before, man? I just wanted you to be honest. Sir, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I'm trying to. Look, I'm trying to look at you right now. Did you put your you. business cards in there? Yeah. You did, and it's in the same box that your business cards are in. Type thing. It's got your name, Adam, written on it, and it's sitting right next to I the know, meth. I, I know. I know. I know what they look like. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Is that the story you're going to stick with? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't, I don't know what's well, going you're on. You're going to be booked into the county jail, possession of methamphetamine, pills, possession of drug paraphernalia. All right. Perfect. Okay, so upon search of the vehicle, we found the spare key for the thing, and there was also methamphetamine located in there, Fine. as well as pills. Fine. So it's yours? It belongs to you? Yes. Did you put it in there? Yes. You did? I did. Did you lock it? I did. You locked the lock box? Yes. Are they tramadol pills? No. Okay, what kind of pills are they? Um, actually, the pills, those are Viagra. Viagra pills? You're not going to arrest him, though, right? We'll go from there. We'll, we'll talk to you. Right now, y'all are going to be placed under arrest, OK? Because I still feel like you're taking a charge for him. And if you're willing to do that, I guess that's true love. We're done lying about it, OK? All right, we're going to get you down to the gym. Well, I remember the first traffic stop, a passenger bailed out of the vehicle with a, a rifle and took off running. Uh, the first sight of seeing that rifle is something that, to this day, I can't believe what I was seeing at that particular time. And it, kind of took me back and gave me a full realization of what law enforcement can really be. I observed a vehicle pull into a known drug house in the area. Uh, the vehicle stayed there for several minutes, and it's now left. Uh, I observed the driver of the vehicle roll a stop sign, so we're going to initiate a traffic stop on this vehicle. North, we're on the car, 65, 10, 50. White Jeep. Hi, Deputy Gizzi, Lee County Sheriff's Office. How you doing? Hi, right, good. Reason I'm pulling you over is for running this uh, failure to stop prior to the stop bar on Ellison Pacific right here. You just stopped a little after the stop bar. So just driver license, registration, proof of insurance. Do you have any ID back there, sir? Yes, sir. There's that. Thank you. I'm going to reach in the glove box for the... Yeah, that's fine. How do you know this guy back here? I, I'm an Uber. Oh, you're Uber? Okay. Sorry. 
Thank you. That's still a good address for you, man, Westbury? Yes, sir. Okay. Where are you guys heading to now? Home. Where's that at, Westbury? Yes. Okay. If the insurance. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, I picked, I just picked him up and he just, um. I went to my girlfriend's house. She's doing my laundry for me. Oh, okay. Where's your girlfriend live? Uh, off Ellis Street. Off Ellis? Do you know the address at all or no? Not exactly. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, so she's an Uber driver. Apparently, he got picked up from Westbury to go to his girlfriend's residence. It was just a quick show up and leave, and he's back to go home now. Does he have any dope charges originally? No. Hey, Kathleen, you mind speaking to me real quick? The traffic stop's complete. I'm just going to ask if you consent to a search of your vehicle, because that, that's not his girlfriend's house. Okay. It's. Okay. So I, I'm just asking you. Yes, if, you if have my consent. To... Okay. Uh, if you just want to hang tight back here for me, or it's on the side. Come on over here. Okay. You can come back around. I didn't get shut off the car. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. How are you? All right, Levi. Just hang out back here for me. What's your name, man? Levi. <clears throat> come on over here. I'm just leaning against the car right here. Now, this looks to be a white rock substance, which is more than likely going to be uh, crack cocaine. It was located inside of his wallet, which is located on the back seat where he was last sitting. Hey, sir, can you do me a favor? Stand up for me. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together like you're praying. OK, you're just being detained right now, OK? If you just want to take a seat in the car for me for now. Just take a seat for me. All right, listen, man. Being honest goes a long way, okay? We know that house. Your girlfriend does not live there, correct? Uh, she stays there. She stays there, okay. She, she don't own the house. Do you know what that house is about? Uh-huh. What's it about? Uh, it's a known for, um, place where drug addicts hang out. Yep, okay. Because you guys, I mean, you were there, you guys pulled in, you were there for maybe five minutes, and then you guys were out. Yeah, I was trying to get my laundry done. Okay. <clears throat> I might have a washer and dryer at my house. Okay. Um, at any time, did you purchase no, sir. drugs from there? No. no. Do you use drugs? Uh, I, I smoke a little bit of pot. You smoke pot. Do you know anything about the wallet that was, you were sitting on? I don't know anything about a wallet. You don't know anything about a wallet? I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. So there's, no, there's not going to be anything in the wallet that that belongs to you, because it's not her no, wallet. It's definitely not. And you and you were sitting on you were sitting on a wallet. <clears throat> Do you remember you were sitting on a wallet? I didn't, didn't realize it was in there. North Road One Ten Four. You didn't realize you were sitting on a wallet. That's right. Okay. Well, man, like I said, honesty goes a long way, and you're not really being honest. I'll give you a few minutes, man, to think about everything. Okay. How long was he at that house for when you, when you stopped? Not even, not even three minutes. Okay. Did you have a black wallet back there? Black wallet? I don't believe so. No. All right, it was just, okay, I was just, yeah, just, I just really don't. Here. We'll, we'll just wait for you. Just Can I just over. stick this in the car? No, just stand over here until they're done. Yeah, that's all. Anything else in there? I'm trying to find. And then a pipe as well. Yep, that's his wallet. Huh? Yeah, 100%. Yep. It's his deal. No one is for, no one's for getting their, uh, no one's forgetting their pipe. No one's forgetting their dope. It was him. And that's right where he was sitting? Correct, yeah. You're all good. I'll cut you out of here and uh, drive safe tonight, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yep. Everything's out of there. Yes, we, we searched it. We didn't locate any other narcotics, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Drive safe. Thanks. Okay, man. So based on the uh, totality of these circumstances, okay, you're going to be placed under arrest and charged for possession of cocaine and possession of drug equipment. Any other information you can give me to kind of dispel my fears and belief that it's yours? Yes, I didn't have anything in my possession. I went and, okay. I mean, you know, I went there to get my laundry and it was still in the washing machine. No, man. Yeah, buddy. That's what happened. That's what happened. So you're still going to go with you don't know anything about the wallet? I don't know. 
despite you sitting on it. It's called constructive possession. I guess it's just bad luck that your Uber driver rolled the stop sign, okay? I was an explorer back in 2005. I was actually able to do ride-alongs with deputies, which kind of gave me knowledge about how to talk to people. And when I became a deputy, it made me feel accomplished that I can actually finally fulfill my dream that I've always wanted um, to help the public and keep people safe. We received a call about a female walking down the street with a torn shirt. Um, we had another incident earlier of a female and a male fighting, matching the same description of this. It looks like I might have her right here. North 312, look, kind of you can show me 1012 with her. Hey, hey. Hello? Come here. North 312, look, everything's 31 on foot. Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. Stop. Wait, 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 wait. Get up. Wait. Wait, get up now. Why are you chasing me? Why are you running from me? Because my boyfriend's an ass. Get up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ben, no, I no. didn't do nothing wrong. Get up. <laughs> what did I Let's do? Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's not gonna Talk be wait, to wait, me wait. for a minute. No. I didn't do nothing wrong. Get underneath this. Let's go. Wait. Let's go. Can you give me a minute? Can you give me a minute? You keep pulling away from me. Wait, wait, let me fix my no, shirt. No, no. Let me fix my shirt. Wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. No, no. Oh. Relax. Oh, man. We're in the trees right across. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Relax. No, dude, I didn't do nothing wrong. No. Ow, ow, ow. Let go. Ow. Let go of the ow. tree. I'm going to take Oh, wait. Can you guys let me make a phone call if I no. give up? No. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. All right. I'm going. I'm giving up. I'm going to tase you if you no, don't stop. No, don't tase me. Don't tase me. Why did you guys even pull me over? What did I do? What did I do? Can you at least tell me what I did? Is there any way I can... Why are you running from me? Is there any way you guys can let me go home and get some clothes? Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Turn hey, over. Talk to me for Turn a around. Fine. Dude, I'm not fighting you. It's fine. Dude, down. talk to me, dude. I don't even know what Why are you running from me? Why? I got a warrant. Of course you do. Can you please give me a minute? Give me a minute, please. Just let me stay here for a minute. Let me Is stay here for a minute, please. You already got me in yeah. handcuffs. Please let me stay here for a minute. Come on, get up. Uh, I want to see my baby girl get with Riley, please. Let's go, get up. Get up. Please. Get up now. Please. Please, please let me get see up. my baby. Yeah, look at my shirt. Okay, we have one in custody. Oh. Oh. I did. Why? Hey. Oh. Yeah. Please, can I stay by to my baby? I gotta check you. Please. Get up. Please. Get up. Stand can up. Can I stay by to her? Please, will you like to stay oh, by to her? Please, oh my <laughs> Please, let me see her. Please, let me see my baby. Please, let me see her. Let me see my baby. Please, will you let me see her? Let her go from the other side, so we'll go from the other side. My baby. There you go. Okay. Please just talk to me for a minute. We're going to talk to you in a second. There you go. you got to calm down. Oh, my God. You have my question. Well, I rolled up and started talking to her, and she just took off on me. I can't. I can't. I got to keep my baby before I go. That's all I'm asking. If you keep doing this, you're not. You but you just told me that you're not gonna let me see her. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you keep doing this, it's not, it's not gonna happen. It's not okay. gonna happen regardless, dude. If you don't know, let me. Juliet, white female, warrant confirmed, 14 W. 48. Thank you, ma'am. So the warrant's confirmed. 
Hey. So, why would you start running from me? Huh? Because I have a boy. Yeah, but you're, you're making situations so much I worse know, for yourself. I know. My little girl means everything to me. It's well, I understand so that, but it, it's something that you... Listen, listen, They're it's something... They're going to put me away for at least a year. But listen... Listen, you're talking about something that was a uh, warrant, and now you're going to... But now you're going to be going for another charge. What, resisting arrest? Res resisting without. You, it's something as simple as just a warrant, and, and now it's coming with a different charge as well. <laughs> I don't understand why you would have ran from me like that. Because... You're not understanding my daughter. I listen. I do, but it's a warrant. I have no choice. That's I gotta why take I it. Ran because I fear that I can get away from you. That's why. But you ran towards a fence. <laughs> I didn't know there was a fence there. <laughs> well, tonight you're gonna be going to jail for or the warrant. Is, obviously. And you're also gonna be going for the resisting okay, without. Okay, but then is there any way that I can see my baby? Probably not. Please don't. Okay. Please. All right. Let's get out of the cigarette. We'll see. She thought she could outrun me and hopefully get over a fence, I guess. So I've been here at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office for a little over five years now on patrol. More recently, I got uh, selected to go to our street crimes unit over here in District 5. We primarily focus on narcotics, uh, weapons, search warrants, arrest warrants. Um, we're a proactive squad, which is a lot of fun. And uh, I take a lot of pride in, in getting guns and drugs off the street, which is what this squad does. One of our undercover detectives uh, had a nearby drug house, observed a vehicle leave the, uh, the residence, and identified the driver as being a habitual traffic offender. So we're going to do a stop on it. Go. Go. Got it. What's up, man? Truck games. What did I do? Huh? You ain't no supposed to be driving, buddy. I'm Come not on. Driving. She's driving. Oh, really? Come on. Get, Get out of here, here, bro. Come here. Shane, go to back. Hey, don't, don't resist. Quit. I'm not resist. Hey, not resist. Stop. Do not. You got him? I got him. Hey, stop resisting, bro. I'm not resisting, man. There you go. Put your hand out of the back. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Keep an eye on her. Cut that. Cut that. Got him. You got him? Quit pulling on us, bro. Stop, stop, stop pulling. Nothing. Stop pulling. Just make sure you don't have any weapons on him. I got his arm, bro. He ain't going nowhere. Hey, put your hands on the dash. Do not move. Hands on the dash and don't move. You got him. On the dash. You got him. I got him. I got him. You good with him? Yeah, I'm good. Step out of the truck. Yeah. What you pulling away for like I'm that? I'm not, man. OK. I haven't done nothing wrong. I know you've got to step out, but I'm going to wait for you to keep my hands on. I'm in the You got anything on you, bro? Huh? Money. Anything on you? Anything that's going to hit me, poke me? No. I all right, come on, come back here. This is my car. Why are you driving, man? I wasn't driving, dude. She was gonna drive. Hey, I saw you drive. I've got two months left to go on probation. All right. Hey, well, you should have been driving, James. What's your name? You know that? I'll help y'all do whatever you need. Is there anything legal in the truck, James? <laughs> not that I know they in there. Not that you know of? They in there. It's my son's truck. Any drugs on you, James? There ain't no drugs on me, man. Okay. Um, anything legal in the truck? I don't know. Okay, so you don't mind if I search it? James? James, did you hear me? Huh? You don't mind if I look in there, make sure there's nothing legal in there, right? Oh, he's gone back. Beth? Beth? Yeah, he's gone back. Okay. I figured. All right. How, how much long did you have on your probation? Uh, probably 10. I'm probably going to prison, right? Two months. Well, I mean, you're already on probation. You're a bitch of traffic offender. Now you have meth in your pocket. I see, I see if you had any drugs on you, man. I don't know. If I told you the truth, what we said, I work with some beer. shot for a brand new dick. James, house, right? when we first got you out of the truck, why'd you tense up so much, man? Why? Because you told so me I was shocked. I didn't realize what, that I'd done anything wrong, man. Well, I'm come on, James. Here, I'm sitting in a park. When I told you to put I, your I, hands behind your back, why'd you do that, man? I did, because you told me to put my hand. I put my hands behind the back. No, you didn't, James. No, you didn't, James. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's because that meth was in your pocket, huh? You're trying to get to it? No, I wasn't trying to get to it. I didn't know it was in my pocket. There's no way out of this. We can figure that out in a minute, man, but right now, I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on with you right now, bud. Yes, sir. You're on a felony probation for possessing cocaine. Yes, sir. You're a habitual traffic offender. You're driving a car. You got meth on you. Yes, sir. You just resisted arrest. Yes, sir. 
Come on, man. Why, why are you resist, James? I wasn't resisting, man. You weren't really resisting? I didn't know. Did you kick your shoes off? I didn't think. Did you kick your shoes off? I never noticed against the wall. I was sitting in the truck in the parking lot. Well, well, you weren't sitting in the truck. We saw you driving. Okay, James. All right. So when you got back in the driver's seat, she was obviously, driving here. You, really? No, she wasn't, James. I know that for a fact because we watched you. You drove right by me. I looked right at you. Okay. Right. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Right. Okay. You said you're like, I did it because I'm a big stupid idiot. That's what you said, man. That's it. But we don't think that. We just think you're making mistakes right now, man. I don't think you're. I don't think you're well, stupid. I think I'm three thousand dollars from the driver's license. I'm trying to get my shit together. I okay. Really don't yeah, three thousand dollars from getting a driver's license. Yet you're buying meth, man. I didn't buy that myself. So okay. Well, I'm gonna. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Can I let go now? Yeah, you can let go. Okay. All right. So what we're doing here is uh, we're testing the meth that we found in the, uh, the driver's front right pocket. Suspected methamphetamine. Put it in there. Crack one of the vials, shake it up a little bit. What happens when I crack this top one is the liquid in there should turn blue if it's positive results from meth. And there you go. I turned blue just like that. So you got good meth right there. Got it? Thanks. James. Hey, what happened today? I found something in my pocket. Well, what was in your pocket? Classic bag full of some unknown substance. Some unknown substance. Was it meth? Could have been. Could have probably, been. Probably. Be honest with me, man to man. Yeah, it was probably that. Was it meth? I guess. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I didn't buy the stuff and I didn't touch the stuff. I'd come and say, if you want to know the story, I'll give you this. Don't tell me the story. Just so y'all know, my son. Hey, somebody, right out, or somebody else I know and like, I didn't even realize it was, I had it, okay? I kind of like just thought it was laying up on that console in the truck. I didn't have it. I did have it. I guess I was smart enough. Like, I picked it up so it wouldn't get sunny or something. You did have it? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, James. You know you're a habitual traffic offender, right? No. Yeah. Okay. You know you shouldn't have been driving, right? No. Yeah. Okay. You know you had meth in your pocket, right? Yeah. Why'd you Why'd you tense up when we first got you out of the car? Man, uh, y'all, that startled me, dude. It startled you? Yeah, it startled me. Did you know who we were? Not really. How, like, once I seen <laughs> the, green, yeah, the green, yeah, I kind of like, how the hell would I not? But, you know, it just, Yeah, yeah. So you knew who we were? Uh, I kind of saw you. Okay. So listen, man. Obviously, you know you're driving. Not good, right? Yeah. All right. So being a habitual traffic offender in the state of Florida, all right, you should be driving. Right. All right. You're on felony probation, right? All right. Okay. And guess what? What would you have in your pocket? Meth. Meth. Well, unfortunately, you know you're going to be going to jail tonight, all right? Yeah. Possession of methamphetamines, yeah. violation of your probation, yeah. and driving while a habitual traffic offender, okay? Yeah. All right, buddy. The city of Tampa is a really fun place to visit or a fun place to live. There's always something going on. You've got the amphitheater, you've got the lightning hockey, you have downtown, you have the river walk. There's always something going on down here, concerts, whatever the case may be. So it's a fun place on our days off. There's always something to do, always somewhere to go, and always uh, somewhere to have fun at. We got a call about uh, two individuals fighting in the front yard. Uh, possibly could be a domestic, but it sounds like they were fighting over uh, someone stealing somebody's beer. This dude jacked up pretty good and says he might need stitches. Where's everybody at that's involved? I'm doing a bedroom. Did you call? Yeah. You called? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whose house is this? Me. Hey, I we, have, it. we got permission to go in there and stuff? Uh huh. Okay. All right. Where are they? They're in the back bedroom, in the very back bedroom. No, no, no. Go straight to the and make first right. Yep, straight to the right. I heard them in here arguing when I walked by. Hey, come out here for a moment. Come out here for a moment. What's going on? You been drinking tonight, boss? Yeah, it's funny. Alright. Where's your uh, where's your female companion at? She's right here. Right okay, right here go ahead, go out there. Hey, he's got a knife right there in his pocket. Grab that from him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll touch it. I'll touch it. Okay. Okay. What happened to you? Why don't you sit up here for me? Huh? What happened to you? Why is there blood over your face? Are you cut anywhere? No. No? Okay. No, I don't What's know. What's the blood from then? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go out and talk to you. Who's that guy? My uh, boyfriend. That's your boyfriend? Okay, you two live here? Yeah. Do you okay. need EMS or anyone to come check All right. Not right. Let's go outside and talk real quick. I'm going to go back out there, see what's going on with him. 
So looks like blood from uh, from his injury on his eye. Um, we're going to go out there and see how bad this is. You can see there's blood all over the floor. So he got hit pretty good. OK, Robert, do you need EMS? No. OK, why don't you have a seat for me since you got knocked in the head pretty good? What's the, uh, what's the issue today? Yeah, she's covered in blood over her face and her hands, but it's most likely from him. Yeah. What's the issue today? Uh, she doesn't like this person that comes over to visit him, and she had, we're fighting about money and stuff like that. I don't want to see her to go to jail. I did not call you guys. OK. How'd you get that, how'd you get that knot on your head? She threw something at me, and I uh, didn't catch it in time. What'd she throw at you? I think an ashtray, something She like threw that. the ashtray at you? That's what hits you on your head? Yeah. You know where the ashtray is that she flung at you? It might have been a jar that had change in it. OK. How's this look? Kind of like the item that struck you in the face? Maybe. It's probably about right, huh? It's got change in it? Yeah. Glass jar of moonshine? OK. Marianne, wake up for me. What'd you throw at your boyfriend? I don't know, honey. OK, so he. I really don't. That's fine, okay. but I'm just trying to understand the story here. I'm kind of scared. Oh, you're kind of scared. I'm on probation, brother. You're on, you're on probation for what? For domestic battery? Yeah. OK. How did, the, how did his. I don't know why I hurt him. OK, but how did his blood get all over you, is my question. Have you seen yourself lately? No. OK, because you're, you're, you got blood over your face, so I'm kind of confused how his blood got on your face. He chokes me. He jumped on me, and he started choking me again, and I had to defend myself. OK, and what did you do to defend yourself? Try and pry his hand off of my neck. OK, just stay right there for me, OK? OK, Robert, did you put your hands on her? She was scratching my neck, as you can see here. Yep. So I reached up and grabbed her hand. And normal move that you guys do. OK. But uh, this was about an hour ago. Yes. But I just, I didn't want to scratch and hurt me anymore. OK. At any time, did you put your arm around her neck? No, sir. Did you choke her at any point? No, sir. OK. So what happened to your face then? What happened to your head? She threw something at me. When was this? Oh. Right before you were called. Right before we were called? OK. I'll be right back and talk to you, OK? Hey, so what happened? What's going on? Well, I went in there and said, where's my beer? OK. What does your beer have to do with what happened in there? Yeah, that's how I walked into it. Oh, uh, OK. So you were drinking beer, and your beer went missing. You walked back to see what was going on, where your beer was, uh -huh. and that's how you walked into their altercation. Yeah, and, then was, blood, and, he, and, and blood was everywhere. Yeah. But you don't know what happened. And then Bob told me to call you guys. And then he told you to call 911? Did Bob tell you what happened? It flipped my eye open. That's all he told me. He, he told you what? I couldn't hear you. He told me the, uh, the bitch split his eye wide open, okay. blah, blah, blah. If he's telling you she hit him, then that's what we're going to go with. His story goes with yours. OK? All right. All getting so blood. He says, call the cops. Uh, so you walked in and saw blood on him and in, in the bathroom and stuff like that? Uh, and, and then he said, call, call the cops. cops. OK. Thanks, Kevin. All right, Mary, I need you to come outside with me, OK? Let's go. Let's walk okay. this way. OK. Let's walk over here to this car, OK? So one more way, see EMS. They're on the way, OK? Watch your head. All right, just sit tight. EMS will be on the way, OK? All right. Scoot in there, OK? OK, so your last DV case, you got arrested yeah. and put on probation. And now tonight, you're getting arrested again for throwing a mason jar at Robert. All right, Mary, you're going to jail for domestic violence, OK? 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. OK, gunpoint, 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10